I'm Will Waller. I'm the CEO of the National Wheelchair Basketball Association. When I think about wheelchair basketball, I think automatically about quality of life. It's not just about wins and losses or X's and O's on the court. It's about bringing people through their life experiences. Everyone who plays wheelchair basketball has some form of a disability that they sustained or that they were born with. And what wheelchair basketball does is it gives them a sense of normalcy. And we know through research that wheelchair basketball improves people's relationships, improves their education outcomes, and gets them a better career. So I'm truly grateful for Dr. Nugent because in 1948 he established the Wheelchair Basketball Association. And from 1948 to current day, the sport has been changing lives. Dr. Nugent's so much more than wheelchair basketball, however. He's known as the father of accessibility. Before the Americans with Disabilities Act, he was changing access for people with disabilities out of necessity. So for his students at the University of Illinois, he was creating curb cuts, he was innovating to create bus lifts, and he was making sure that facilities had the level of access required for them to live in everyday life. In order to recognize the impact that Dr. Nugent had on the sport, it's our obligation to keep that legacy going. That's why we are launching the Dr. Tim Nugent Foundation. And this campaign is going to help us have an impact on grassroots programs. We want to help individuals who are getting started in the game. We want to help teams who are getting started in the game. And that's where we need your support. Through your support, we can keep the impact of Dr. Tim Nugent alive. Help us grow the number of athletes. Help us grow the number of teams. We can't do it alone. We're an army of volunteers, and we need to get in line together to make sure that we're lined up against the same mission. But I also want to ask you to think about giving whatever you're able to give to the Tim Nugent Foundation to help us systematically grow those numbers.